What's up, you little chicken nuggets, the dinosaur kind? How's everybody doing? My name is El Sweaty Mike, and I'm super excited you are joining us this week. Because this week, we're still continuing our series, Try Tacky. Well, we're learning that it's okay to be different. It's okay to be different like me. Or it's okay if you're not like me. Because that's what makes the world great. And we're talking about this week is we're talking about the gift that God gave all of us. And that gift is the Holy Spirit. So let's tune to our Bible story so we can learn a little bit more about what the Holy Spirit does in our lives. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Wow! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, they wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Man, wouldn't you have been so super scared if you had a fire dancing around your head? That's scary. But you know what? It was so awesome because God gave us all the gift of the Holy Spirit. And just like the apostles, it made them talk in different languages and it gives us power to do anything because God, he lives inside of us. And that's what the Holy Spirit is. It's God's gift to us. So God can live in us so he can help us do the right thing. He can help us in all types of different ways, and all we have to do is ask him to help us. See, that's super great. So let's go over our need to know this week. See, our need to know is God lives in me. 
Let's try that with me now. Ready? Say, God lives in me. Awesome, you guys. Let's celebrate this. Let's warm up our muscles. Let's get them loosey-goosey. So we're going to stand up. We're going to do our worship warm-up. And then we're going to sing an awesome song where we're going to praise God. Can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a wonderful day. my head these are my eyes this is my nose these are my ears this is my mouth these are my teeth this is my chin these are my cheeks sing along with me la 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 jump along with me along with me Point along with me Head Eyes 
Nose. Ears. Mouth. Teeth. Chin. Cheeks. This is my neck. This is my chest. This is my back. This is my stomach. These are my shoulders. These are my arms. These are my hands. These are my fingers. Sing along with me. La 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 la. Jump along with me. Wiggle along with me. Point along with me. Are my toes sing along with me la 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 jump along with me wiggle along with me point along with me song we're gonna start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this you ready let's go one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven on day number one god made light he made the day and he made the night on day number two god made the sky it's big and blue and way up high whoa. you say whoa whoa day number three on day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Sing out those woes. Whoa. Sing God made you. Dolphins and whales and things that go squish On day number six, God made animals and bugs Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug Whoa. Let me hear those woes Whoa. Sing day number six On day number six, God also made man He said it was good and part of his plan On day number seven, God stopped to rest He saw what he made, it was his best Whoa. Sing out those woes Sing, God made you. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and He made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, 